What is up party people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Devin. These types of videos seem to be very popular amongst the beauty community and I used to do them myself when I had started my YouTube channel way back when. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like there is nothing quite like finishing a pen or filling up a notebook and that might sound totally nerdy, but if you're here poking around my channel, hopefully we kind of share that, that same commonality. I have quite a few things to share with you that I've accumulated and finished or filled up. So let's dive in. We're going to start with notebooks. So I have three journals that I have filled up and we'll go ahead and start sort of like in the order that they were completed. We'll start off with this journal, which you may remember from my 11 ways to fill your notebooks video. This was my first ever completed morning pages journal and I got this notebook from Walmart. I liked it because of the design. It's just got some gold stripies on the front, a gold spine, and an elastic and a bookmark. And I've talked about this, I think, in previous videos, but I really like that the pages are set up with these months at the top and the days listed out so you can kind of just circle and of course, I'm dating all my entries, so I liked that aspect of it. This notebook is pretty much filled just with writing, except for the front page where I pasted a picture of Alice that I co colored at the fair. It just it was it was random. I think we were waiting for my brother or something, but I filled all the pages, and it was just an amazing feeling to get to that last page and, of course, start a new notebook. So there's that guy and I went ahead and archived it on the side and it says November 2016 through August 2017. That's how long it took me to fill it. I just was really on and off with morning pages, but I think towards the end I was determined to fill it up. The next notebook that I filled, I think, was this guy right here and this is a notebook that I got from Daiso and I liked it because it had these little dividers already built in so the pages were sectioned off and I was doing quite a bit at the time and was wrestling with the idea of carrying separate notebooks for each of the things that I was working on. I think I filled this green section first and then kind of like worked my way towards the front just because my green section was dedicated to my studio so that got filled up pretty fast and then it kind of trickled over forward but I did finish this notebook and now it's in the archives. I believe I started this journal before I had started this one. And the reason why this one got filled up first was because I had decided that I was going to play around with morning pages, but wasn't sure if I was gonna fully commit. I went and split it down the middle with the bookmark, counted the pages, and said this last half of the notebook is going to be just for morning pages and I filled that up pretty fast because it's three pages a day of stream of consciousness and then the front part I used for journaling with gratitude and those were just little blurbs to start and then it progressively got to more lengthier entries. So this I completed in July 2018, so that was much later after I completed my first morning pages journal. Let's get into some stationery that I had used up. Now this is going to be like kind of a tough one to share, but I did finish an eraser and I know you guys are like, well Devin, you, you don't have the eraser to share, right? Like it's gone. And that was like my first time ever finishing like an, an entire eraser. Normally I would lose it or misplace it and then have to start a new one. So it was just, I know it's something so simple as an eraser, but the fact that I've used it like the little nubbin at the end, I used it completely. So that was a great feeling obviously, but I do have some examples of what that eraser sort of looked like. These are from Daiso and it came in a pack and this guy is who I'm currently working on, the little chicky, 
but I believe the one that I had finished was like a white rabbit. I don't really use pencil all that often, but I was able to finish that little eraser, so that was pretty satisfying. Onto the bulk of this video, in here, this is just like an old ColourPop box. I like it because it says legit AF and it's just a pretty box. But I keep all of my pens that I've used up in here. This is a tool pen, which uh, will be the bulk of what I share with you guys next. This guy, I didn't use up. But the reason why it's in this pile is because the needle like came out. I'm not really sure what happened. And this occurred with a couple of the pens that I got in the set, just specifically the needle point pens. I'm not sure, but it just kind of comes out in a blob and it's really frustrating. So it made it into the the used up pile because I'm going to need to replace the ink. Okay, so I have quite a few tool pens. I found these at Office Depot and I just really liked the barrel. At first I found these white ones. One has gold accents, the other two have copper slash rose gold accents, and I do have a silver one. It might be in my pen storage. That one I might, might not have used the ink already, but these are all medium point pens. And then I have two just regular style tool pens. These are also medium points, so it's very bold. But then I picked up a set of colored needle points. In that set, like I mentioned, I had a few that gave me issues, but these two I was able to finish no problem. It's been very difficult to obtain reasonably priced refills for these pens, but I think I'm gonna do like a quick pen hack video and share some refills that I've discovered for these guys in a future video. Next, I have some friction pens, two of which are the American style friction clicker barrels, and these came in a set that I received for Christmas, I think last year. I finished the purple and the teal slash turquoise color. I am not a huge fan anymore of these barrels. At first I was very excited to use these because they were my first ever friction pens, but my sister gifted me the Friction Ball Slim and I much prefer this slimmer profile and just the finer point in general. So this one is in the off black, so of course that one is what I used first. And all of these can be refilled, which is why I'm holding on to them. I might pass these two on, I'm not sure. Again, I just I have, I have tons of <laughs> different pens that I could refill. And last, I have some Coletto refills that I used up, two of which are from the Sailor Moon Limited Edition collection. You can see from the topper, it's got a really cute little bow and then I have one from the Hello Kitty collection. So I used a black, a green, and a blue. And I'm saving these because I can reuse the toppers. So once I'm ready to buy some refills, I can pop these off. That is everything that I have used up so far stationary wise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing it. Again, I see a lot of the beauty community doing this with makeup products that they used up, but I think it could easily be done in the stationery community. I can't reiterate it enough for me personally, and you guys can tell me if you feel the same way, but it's just a wonderful feeling to use up stationery, especially if you're someone like me who kind of holds off on using stationery because you, you love it so much and you want to use it sparingly. But then, yeah, once you use it up, it's just ultra satisfying. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That way you guys don't miss my videos. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And I will catch you guys in the next one.